Hi, my beautiful friends. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today is going to be about what I do, my little secrets and tips uh, before filming. And yeah, I'm super excited to share this with you guys. These are going to be tips and secrets that are going to help you, you know, if you're going to be going to an important event, a reunion, a wedding. And yes, it's going to seem like a lot of steps, you guys. But if you really just take the time to make yourself feel pretty, it's not something I do every day. Let me promise you that. Um, but before filming, I definitely do that to look my best and, and to feel pretty for you guys. So, you know, my application of uh, makeup goes on better. Um, just a combination of things. So I hope you guys do enjoy uh, seeing my secrets and tips. And a lot of them, you guys, are just very common. Um, I just happen to throw all of these in at once before I film. So yeah, if you guys want to see all the secrets and tips, please continue watching. If you are new today, the biggest welcome to you. We are so excited that you're here. And we really hope that you consider hitting that subscribe and notification bell and joining our amazing family here. All right, you guys, come check out my tips and secrets. My, uh, my uh, sweater is not ripping. It's just <laughs> the sweater. But uh, yeah, actually, Daryl got this for me a couple years ago for Christmas. So yeah, I just wanted you guys to not to think that I'm just wearing, you know, old clothes here. <laughs> okay, so yes, uh, what you're going to see today is going to look like a lot, you guys. And it is. It is a lot of steps. But if you're pampering yourself to go to a nice event, it will probably take you an extra half hour, maybe 35 minutes to do those extra steps, you know. And you know, who doesn't want to do that before an event? You know, you just want to look your best. You want to feel pretty. And I just think that these steps, it helps me feel that way. It makes me feel more confident when I come on, uh, you know, video here for you guys. You know, I do see a difference, you know, when I do use these uh, steps and when I don't use these steps, you guys, I do see it when I'm filming. So a lot of the steps and secrets that I'm going to show you do make a difference. They really do. Um, are they, are they long-term? Probably not. But I'm not really looking for long term, you know, when I'm using these steps. Um, if I did, I would be doing them daily. I'm just looking, you know, for something that when I go to film, um, when I'm looking on the screen, I feel a little better. Um, I don't feel self-conscious about certain things. It's all what it's about. So right now I'm just going to show uh, or share with you a few secrets um, with my hair because I don't really get into that up there. Um my hair is actually very frizzy, you guys. Um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned that, but you can tell with like these little flyaways, um, stuff like that. So I will say with my hair, um, and this I do do every day that I wash my hair. And I'm just going to tell you, I don't wash my hair every day. I probably really only wash my hair every two to three, four days sometimes, you guys. So um, I will say that every day that I do use any kind of heat products, um, I do use a heat protectant. I think it's super important. Um, you know, this is not really anything to do with this video, guys. But I do want to share with you everything uh, that I do use. And I love this one here. It's by Hair Foods. Um, and it has coconut and argan oil in it. Um, my products I like using on my hair is sulfite free, paraben free, dye free, all that stuff. So that's what this is. And I do enjoy this. And then, um, you guys on days that it's super frizzy, like today was a day because I didn't wash it. Um, this is from yesterday, but I still had to put some curls in it just to liven it back up. So I did spray it with this while it was dry. And then after I curled it and everything, what I do is I mix uh, this, and this is my favorite uh, bed head. I can't live without this stuff. It's the uh, After Party, and this is the mini one, I, <laughs> my big one. I ran through it, so this is my backup. And then I mix it with the Ordinary, and this is the 100% organic cold-pressed um, Moroccan argan oil. Now, this I do use every time I wash my hair. Um, I put about five drops in it. And like today, I still used it on the dry hair. I just put a pump of this and about four drops of that into it. And I just went in and I scrunched the curls. And it just really tames down that frizziness. Now, if you have really oily hair, I don't know how that would work. That's just a little tip, you guys. And also, uh, one of my other little beauty trips uh, or tips <laughs> or secrets, and it's not even a secret, you guys. It's more a tip. Um is that I do use these, the Crest uh, 3D White uh, strips. And if you're going to an event, you might want to consider starting these uh, the week before. So, you know, maybe when you are going to an event, 
a couple weeks before, write down a list of things that you're going to start, you know, like a week before, three days before, uh, just so, you know, you're not trying to rush everything in the, you know, the couple days that uh, it happens. So, um, yeah, these I do use. I have been using them um, for a while now. So now it's more maintenance, but uh, at first I would use these like the first couple days before I knew I was going to film and it really has helped. I think they really have lightened up a lot. So I really love these. I have super sensitive teeth, you guys. I cannot use any form of bleach on my teeth. For some reason, uh, these I can. And this is the, uh, again, the 3D, um, what is that? <laughs> 3D white strips and no display white. So I really, really love these. So that is the basic uh, of that there. Okay, you guys, so let's move upstairs. Um, that's where I've already filmed uh, a lot of this. So, and that's where, you know, you're going to hear a lot of my uh, secrets and tips. And again, you guys, these are all things that are very common out there, but I just want to share with you what I do uh, to make myself look my best for you guys. All right, let's head upstairs. Okay, so here I'm wearing a ultra-fine microfiber hair uh, towel. I get this right on Amazon. I love it because my hair dries super fast when I use this. Uh, it helps control the frizz in my hair. And it also comes in all different uh, sizes and colors. So yeah, I've just been using this in replace of a towel. I'll never use a towel again. Um, and then here I'm using uh, my little twinkle razors. I love doing this, you know, when I do have those little hairs that are shining through or peach fuzz and also it's great for exfoliating the skin it really preps the skin um, you know to put on your complexion products everything looks much smoother um, you know I just absolutely I've been doing this for years so you guys this is just a really great tip um, if you do have a lot of peach fuzz I promise you your skin products will go on better and your complexion products here I use um, like a bottle of water. I love to hydrate my face really well before putting on any of my skin products. I've already applied most of my skin products. But here this is an important step. Um, this is hyaluronic acid. And you know this is just great to give you that hydration for your skin. Especially in these winter months. Um, makes your skin more plump. Ready you know for the day. And yeah I just love this step. Especially right now when my skin is so dry. Now I'm going to go in, this is like considered like an ice roller. There is metal on the other side of this, so I keep mine in the freezer or you can keep it in the refrigerator. And it is so soothing. This will help with any puffiness that you may have. It also helps push any of your skin products fully into the skin. But I just love it. It's so relaxing. And again, you know, my eyes become very, you know, puffy in the morning, especially if I film uh, early in the day. And I see other people use, you know, ice, you guys. I don't suggest that. You could really burn yourself. So this is just more safe. Now I'm going in with my Matrixel 3000. This is a very important skin product in my routine. Um, it helps with fine lines, wrinkles. It helps reverse the time and slow it down a little bit. Um, but again, this is a very soothing product. And again, I do go over it with a little ice pack. Um, and yeah, that just, again, you guys, it really helps the skincare absorb fully into the skin and at the same time depuffing. Now I am going in right here with the caffeine solution by The Ordinary. This will also depuff your eyes as well if you do have any swelling going on. So I love using this. I use this every morning. Again, I go back in with the ice pack. Um, I, again, this really just helps your skin products ab absorb a little quicker. Now I'm going in with the Beekman 1802. This is their uh, eye serum. This is a lovely product. I use this every day for sure as well. Um, yeah, this is more just a moisturizing product for under my eyes. Now I'm going in with the Ordinary. This is a rose hip oil. Um, I have been using this a lot. And now I'm going to do a gua sha, you guys. Um, I like to do this before filming. Again, I do not do this every day. Although I would like to and probably should. But this is just a beautiful massage for your face. And you're going to see a huge difference in uh, the puffiness on my face. And I do everything in five. So I'm going in each direction five times. And then I go down my left nose. See the difference? And again, I'm doing it on the other side. And I bring it down into the lymph nodes. 
just to get rid of all of the toxins that are in my face. I'm going in with my SPF 30. This is a must. And look at the glow that this gives. So many people ask me what I put on my face for it to look so glowy. Uh, this is probably the biggest key. Now I'm going in with my Durell. I get this off Amazon. It's a lip plumper. And as you can see, I'm going way above my lip line. This will give you a more plumper effect. Now I'm applying some eye patches that I keep in my little mini fridge. And I just keep these on while I do my hair and eyebrows. And the night before, what I like to do, you know, is evaluate the skin, see if it needs to be exfoliated. If it does, I use a very gentle exfoliator, like the one from Good Molecules. Um, it's that pineapple scrub. Uh, it is so gentle. Uh, so I will do that the night before if needed. Um, I don't like doing it in the morning because my skin can, you know, become very dry. And I don't want a bunch of dry spots. So I'm trying to get rid of it. And But still sometimes it can be a little dry after I exfoliate. That's why I do it the night before. Also the night before, you guys, um, not every night. Um, I Well, yeah, if I'm going to film, I've been doing this a lot lately. Um, I use the, either this mask here. Um, I liked the pink one better, the one that I put in my January favorites, but um, it's a chin strap that I do wear, and it does help lift the chin. It's temporary. It will last about a day, um, but yeah, it lifts this. It kind of thins this out uh, because that is, you know, where I am a little um, self-conscious is my double chin, so um, I just feel like that helps, and um, if I don't wear one of those, I actually bought one that is reusable. So you would just put this on your head, you guys. My poor husband, I swear. Um, you just put this on your head and you, you know, strap it up on, on the top. And that does, you know, keep your skin in place. So yeah, again, poor Daryl. Um, yeah, he's probably like, wow, look at what I'm married to. Also, I use my frownies at least twice um, a week, you know, to keep this, um, you know, more smooth, uh, you know, I'm trying to fix that 11. I think it's getting better. Last night I wore my frownies. So that's why my forehead actually looks pretty good this morning. Okay, guys, so what I do now is just go do my hair and then we'll just go through the rest of my beauty secrets so I can share them with you so you can use them for an event that's coming up. Okay, so when my hair is all done and sorry if this sounds weird, you guys, I don't have my microphone plugged in up here, but um, as you can see this part, uh, it looks way, you know, wider than in real life. So what I like to do is take any kind of spray. Well, not any kind. I do have my favorites. This is my uh, ultimate favorite. And it's I get mine at Sally's. And uh, mine is in the shade black, I believe. And you're going to see how much thicker my hair looks when I do this. Let me see here in the mirror. And there you are. And now look how much thicker my hair looks. So that is another one of my secrets. Um, I know you guys, some of you, I have said it in another video, but if you're new, um, this is a good tip. You know, if you do have like a large part like I do or any uh, spots that might look a little thinning, um, this stuff's amazing. I mean, I wouldn't go out in the rain or anything like that. But it lasts all day, you know, and sometimes when I do scratch my head, I'll have some transfer. But on the most part, you guys, nobody would know. <laughs> so, okay, so that's one of my other beauty tips. And, yeah, let's move downstairs so you can see uh, where I film my lighting, um, why, you know, things might look a little different than up here or in natural lighting. So let's head downstairs. Okay, you guys, this is where I film in the basement. Um, over there is our bar. So, yeah, this is more turned, you know, turned in more to a, a storage part uh, over here with the Christmas and everything. We ran out of room. So let's just ignore that. But um, he, this is what started it all, these lights here. Um, my father-in-law gave them to me. He used to be really big in photography. Uh, he goes, here, you know, maybe you can use them. And at that point, you know, the YouTube channel was already in the back of my head. So I go, ooh, I got lighting. And that's <laughs> how that started. Okay, so these are the lights, you guys. Um, I got these from the kids uh, for Christmas. It's a GBM. Um, I always set mine at about 4,500 and uh, 72 here. So that is how much light. It goes up to 100. 
Uh, these here are just reflectors um, and it's basically insulation. So I put those hanging from the drop ceiling <laughs> and then I tape it to the table. It's a hot mess down here, you guys. Okay, and then this is the ring light. Uh, now this is a newer, uh, the brand is actually called Newer and, and it is new. <laughs> and um, so I, you know, have it like up and, you know, facing down on me. I'm finding that what these are set at right now, um, I'm liking what I see when I do uh, edit and everything. Uh, I feel like I finally got the lighting down um, to be in a basement because the basement is very dark and I have fluorescent light, so I cannot utilize those. Okay, so here's the same thing at just another side, and then there's another large light. And if you come around here, um, this is the backdrop. I got that on Amazon. And I can always change, you know, the backing, which you guys have seen. Um, this little table I got on Amazon. Um, and then I do have a backlight. That's my little lamp. And then sometimes I do use a different light. You know, that's how it uh, gives out the color. You know, if I change the background, you know, I think you guys have seen it like purple and um, all that. So this is the front of everything. That's what I sit in, this little chair. I'm about to film um, my favorites video. Uh, favorites of February. So this is where I film you guys. I just thought that this would be interesting. You can see, um, you know, why, uh, you know, people do look a little different on um, video. You know, all the lighting, it makes a huge difference. If I turn them down, you guys, um, it probably wouldn't be as pretty. <laughs> so yeah, this is, uh, this is where I sit. Oh, and this here is like a little reflector as well. Uh, that I got on Amazon. You can turn it and have it gold to have a more warm tone. Um, the, you know, all these lights here can adjust um, height and what I set them at. Now this I do have set at 23. Um, this gets super bright. This gets to 100. I'm finding, you know, this is about as much light as I need. Um, and then it's set at 45 as well, 4,500. So uh, that is it, you guys. I hope this helps. Um, if somebody is looking into a channel, um, you know, you don't need all these lights right away. You could probably start with just a ring light. Um, I started with a nail light. Um, but yeah, a ring light would be fine, especially if you have natural lighting. But if you're in a dark uh, space like this, that is actually very large. It goes way back. Uh, so this light has so many places that it can go other than me. So that's why I did put up uh, those reflectors here. I'm just trying to, you know, block off, you know, wh where this light can go. Okay, I hope this uh, I hope this helps you guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing where I film. I loved showing it to you. Funny story, you guys. I was editing and realized I never did an ending to this video. So here I am uh, several hours later. But I hope you guys did enjoy, um, you know, seeing what I do. I had so much joy sharing my tips and secrets with you guys. Now, you do not have to take everything that I do um, for sure. I, I realize it's a lot of steps for a lot of people. You know, you guys are super busy, and I realize that. But maybe you can take a couple of these uh, secrets and tips and, you know, work it into your routine or especially before a big event uh, like I was talking about. Then I would be so thrilled if something uh, that I, you know, showed you today would help you in some way. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed today's video, if you'd please hit that like button. I truly love and appreciate when you guys do that. I love you so much. And until next time.